Close your eyes. What do you hear? Do you hear your own heartbeat? No. Old man, how is it that you hear these things? Young man, how is it that you do not? You are listening to a production of the Social Voice Podcast Network. Welcome to the Little Beaver Historical Society podcast. I'm Kevin Farkas of the Social Voice Project, and we produce this podcast in partnership with the museum to help capture, preserve, and share the voices and stories of local history today and for future generations. Now, in this episode, we explore the topic of historic sound and why the sonic world around us is or should be important to historians. And our guest today is Dr. Aaron Cowan, professor of history at Slippery Rock University. Hey, Aaron, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kevin. I'm glad to be here. Now, I've asked Aaron to be on today to join our conversation about sound because he's not only an expert in public history, which is that interesting space where history and the public come together in museums, historical sites around exhibits and on podcast episodes like this. But Aaron also knows a lot about the world of digital public history. The use of multimedia. We're talking about uh, Henry Ford and the development of the assembly line. And the, of course, most of the film from then, if you have uh, newsreel footage of assembly lines and things, it's silent. But uh, you was able to find a clip of the Ford assembly line. It's from 1936. And what I do is I play it and then I turn the volume up until we get to about 100 decibels or so, which would have been um, at least the level of what an uh, actual factory Ford assembly line would have sounded like. Workers talked about trying to stuff cotton in their ears or something to protect their hearing. And this tells us to some degree why Henry Ford had to pay his workers $5 a day because there was such a high rate of attrition. Workers quit so frequently that he had to basically incentivize by paying really high wages. And so listen to that sound we just listened to for a few seconds and think about doing that for eight hours. Again, that's one small example, but it really brings you into a moment in the past. (laughs) 